What is going on guys? Money Mace here and today we're talking about the D'Angelo Russell and Brooke Lopez trade. You can see a couple screenshots I got from 2K in the beginning here and then I got just some clips of them and their specific teams with the new unis on. So basically I'm a Lakers fan and this trade was pretty crazy because I wasn't really expecting the Lakers to trade D'Angelo at all. I was pretty sure that they were going to keep him. But since they did trade him, it basically means that we're going to get Lonzo Ball in the draft is basically what's just going to happen. And we got rid of Mozgov because of his contract was so big. So I understand that she had to trade those two. I don't know if Brooke Lopez is the best player, but I you know I'm still going to be excited for him because, I mean, he's, he's not been that bad. I mean, last year he averaged 20 points per game, which is pretty nice. I don't remember how many rebounds and stuff, but he's the all-time leading scorer for the Brooklyn Nets. Not the New Jersey Nets, like the Nets franchise, just the Brooklyn Nets. He's their all-time leading scorer because they only were established not too long ago. But he's coming to LA now. But we did lose D'Angelo Russell, who I really liked, even from when he first came into the league, and I thought that he was gonna be like, you know, like a star, you know, pretty good. But um, he's with the Nets now, so don't have to worry about that. I do really feel bad for D'Angelo though, because the Nets are an awful team, and I really don't wish that on anybody. But that just basically proves where the Lakers' mindset's at right now. They're trying to build for right now. They're trying to clear up cap space. They still have Luol Deng, who has a pretty big contract. But they're trying to clear up cap space, probably for like LeBron next year, or Paul George, or one of those big free agents. They want to get one of those guys. So getting rid of those contracts allows them to do so. Brooke Lopez is only like 29, I think. So And he's like he's not bad. He's still like a decent player. He's probably going to be the best player on the Lakers. But, um, but yeah, like I said before, that's basically where the mindset's at. They're definitely going to get Lonzo Ball. At least that's what I think. They're going to get Lonzo. I don't think they're going to trade the pick for Paul George or anything because Paul George already said that he wants to go to the Lakers in 2018 when he becomes a free agent. So there's no real point in training for him. I would say just, you know, just wait it out and just see where his mindset's at then. But I say definitely pick Lonzo so that, um, like the core is still going to be pretty young. But, um, I mean, all I can really do is improve. So without D'Angelo though, I, I mean, I did really want them to keep D'Angelo. He's one of my favorite players, the ice in my veins, you know. But hey, it's whatever. We got Brooke Lopez now. I do feel bad, like I said, for D'Angelo because he is going to the Nets. And the Nets are just a really bad team. I personally don't like the Nets at all. Like, I don't really have any connection to them or anything. But they're just so bad. And they really screwed up with that Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett trade. Because they have, like, no picks anymore. Like, the Celtics basically run their franchise. But um, the draft is today, so watch that at 7 p.m. at ESPN. And um, yeah, that's all I got today. Kind of a short video, but anyways, I hope you did enjoy. Please like and subscribe for more content. I do mainly basketball videos, but anything else you want to know down below. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.